Hi! In this video, we will see how to create a fresh new Flutter application running with Superbase made by Appearance Kit. Of course, you need to first install Appearance Kit on your computer. You can follow this documentation available publicly on the website. Once you have installed Appearance Kit, you can run the setup command. So we will just run the command that which is dot pub global run appearance kit appearance CLI setup. This command will generate everything for your project and it will ask you everything optionally. So first let's name our application. For this example, I will name it appearance kit but you can give it every name you want. After that, you can choose a package name. I will name it io.appearance. After that, we will choose our backend provider. For this example, we will just choose Superbase. We press enter. Now we choose anonymous mode. It will log in your user anonymously. Once your user enters the application, it will log on in as an anonymous user that is not related to any email or uh, host provider. It enables you to start saving things on your database without asking your user to log in into your app. This is really something I recommend to everyone making a new application because people tend to just be afraid of starting to signing up just after installing a new application. They want to play with your application without filling a new form, email and entering password. So prefer this. So we will say yes. We have for, for super base storage, yes. We will use a subscription module, yes. We will use Sentry to report crash errors. I really recommend you to all the time use this. Sentry, you can't run an application without this. It will report every error you app could, could have in production. Uh, remote config also to, to manipulate and change some behaviors on your application without releasing a new uh, application. Web platform, we will say no for this one. And analytics, yes. And generic onboarding, we want onboarding. We will want, let's push some social ID um, authentication. Google, let's say April 2, okay. And let's say no for an, uh, pixel analytics, okay. So now, appearance kit will just create uh, our application. You still need a Firebase ID, as you see, because you can't uh, send notifications through um, just from Superbase. Uh, you need uh, a Firebase project to send FCM notifications. Android requires you a Firebase uh, project for this. So as it enables us to send notifications to Android and Apple from Firebase, we just need Firebase for this. And an application without notifications, mm, that's not really worth it. So Appearance Kit is currently installing every package we, we need with the latest version, and it will, after that, create every module that we asked for. So Appearance Kit has generated all this code for you. You can see inside every folder there is all these modules ready to use. But that's not all. If you open the iOS folder with Xcode, and you see in Xcode everything has been just configured for you. So your runner will have all the capabilities and everything. Now we want to run our application, but there is something we are missing. We need to configure 
our Superbase server. To set up your Superbase server, go to the dashboard and then go to the SQL editor. Once you get there, copy the script you have that is provided with Appearance Kit. Once you have it, you can just copy and paste it here. It will create every tables, policies and everything you need to run the demo. And as you see, there you will have a table for devices, for notification, for subscription, user information and users. Also, all the policies have been made and the storage has been created. You see for avatars. Now you got this, you have set up your soup base server. Also, don't forget to deploy all the functions that are provided. You have a revenue cat webhook to just synchronize subscription from revenue cat to your server. I prefer to have all my subscription synchronized on my own servers. But there is two last things to do. Inside your project setting, you have inside your authentication configuration to allow new users to sign up, allow manual linking and allow anonymous signing. Use annual, uh, allow manual linking if you want to use Google or uh, Apple authentication. And so you can link an already uh, created account, like an anonymous account, with Apple or uh, Google. Also, as you are on mobile, don't enable CAPTCHA protection because you are not on the web, so there is no robot that will be coming on your application and call for CAPTCHA. So after that, you have to go to the configuration inside API and take both this URL, you copy it, and you go to the VS Code launch and you copy it on your backend URL. Also, after that, you can just copy this public key here inside your. So now everything is ready, you will be able to launch your application. So Using this configuration, we will run our Superbase application on our device. So let's use an iOS simulator and we will run our configuration, Superbase development that we just configured with our token and URL. And let's just run it. And now our application is started. So we can see inside our table that our user has been automatically created. It is anonymous as we never signing in or sign up and it's not having any email or any other thing. It's not on board, it is not onboarded. So we have this Boolean. We have automatically created a device for this user. We saved it for, we know it is on iOS. We know we got its token and its, and its installation ID. So we can have multiple device for, um, for one user. And you can send him notifications now. And this is it. So now on our onboarding, we can go through the process, show some features. And the beautiful thing of having someone that is already authenticated is that we can save some answers. So if we want to know the gender of our user before we start uh, signing in it, in signing him, we can. What is your age? This is just for demo, the demo, but you can uh, use the template and change it for your needs. We will ask for notifications, permissions, and we create profile. Creating profile, it's the loader. And after that, we have the paywall. So it is, the demo is ready. You have everything. You can just test notifications and you can start setting your paywall with RevenueCat.
I hope that you enjoyed this video showing you how quickly you can create a Flutter application using Appearance Kit and Superbase. Show me what you do with it 